Guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. After countless days of waiting, I ordered these parts last week, but our TB Parts 170, the 184 cc big board kit has arrived. And um, you know I have a GPX 150, so that's gonna make the bike a 170. Also, uh, my new bar patch from Micah has arrived. My exhaust was supposed to come in today, but due to a shipping malfunction, or what they call it, they called it a, uh, a vehicle malfunction, it is still sitting at UPS about six minutes down the road. Uh, hopefully that comes in tomorrow, because without it, we won't be able to fire up the bike. But today, at least, we can get the big board kit on, get everything dialed in, bolted up, and then hopefully the exhaust comes in tomorrow, and we can get this bad boy cranked up. I promise I'm not going to do too much rambling in this video, and this is not a how-to video. Uh, if you can change a piston, you can put a big board kit on your bike. Or at least that's what I've been told. I already have the engine mocked up in the bike. I'm going to show you that here in a second. I went ahead and put it back together. I had it in pieces because this was supposed to be here Tuesday. It is just now arriving today on Friday. So with that being said, I'll show you what we got on the bike, the carbon and stuff we're going to be running. And then I will piece this thing apart, piece this other thing together. I'll show you guys what all comes in the big board kit and we can go from there. Okay, like I was saying, I have the GPX 150. I did go ahead and get the TB Parts dress-up kit, and that is the TB Parts V2 head. I also have a 28 millimeter flat slide Nibby carburetor. She's looking pretty good on the bike, and um, like I said, this has already been a part. Everything is kind of hand loose. I can go ahead and take all that off. I'm not going to go over how to do this, like I said, because if you can change this piston, you can pretty much put this kit on, and I'm gonna show you guys the kit here in a second. I also have all kinds of accessories and stuff I wanna do for the motor. I went ahead and ordered the AN fitting kit, because I wanna do a custom AN fitting line for the oil cooler. I went ahead and got AN-4, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and order uh, dash six. I'm not sure. I'll see how that plays out when our oil cooler arrives on Monday. We got the black line. I ordered braided line originally, but this is what they sent me off of eBay. So if they tell you it's 5.5 meters, it's baloney. That's like 5.5 inches or an inch and a half. Who cares? Or a foot and a half. But yeah, there's a bunch of accessories. I got new spark plug, new coils, everything for the motor. I got my chain, levers, uh, bolts, all kinds of stuff. All right. Now the moment I've been waiting for, and probably the moment a lot of you guys clicked on this video for. Let's go ahead and get all these packing peanuts and stuff out of here and see what we got. I'm pretty sure that is our piston right there. Yep, that is our 64 millimeter piston. And then there should be... All right, I'm gonna get this out of the box and I'll show you guys. All right, back to what I was saying. There goes our 64 millimeter piston right there. There goes our gasket kit and our exhaust gasket and then all of our dress up kit stuff in there, which the dress up kit already came with that. T-Bolt was nice enough to supply us with some, or TB Parts was handy enough to supply us with some handy dandy stickers. And then let's go ahead and get this ceramic 64 millimeter YX type cylinder out. This is going to make my 150 into a 170 beast. And I'm so excited for this. And of course it comes with more gaskets. My goodness, there's nothing like good brand new fresh parts. There is our 64 millimeter cylinder right there. So all we have to do is take that thing apart and then we'll get this thing on here. I think I'm going to run to Summit Racing and see if they got some assembly lube. Um, I mean, I could use some motor oil, but um, I'm going to call up there first and see if they got some assembly lube. That way it makes things go a lot smoother. If not, I'll just use some motor oil. Go ahead and... Uh, lube this up a little bit, lube this piston up so everything goes smoothly and we have no problems. All right, and so this gasket, please use this gasket if you have a KLX 110 or a Z125. If a Chinese engine used a thin gasket that comes in this gasket kit right here, which is the TBW0503, TBW0503. So we'll just use these gaskets right here. This is for somebody with a KLX or a Z125. All right, there it is guys, all laid out right there and if you want to know how much this cost this was $199 for this whole kit right here and um, for that price I don't think you can beat it there was a uh, maybe like a dollar something for tax so it was like two something out of the door like maybe 202 or 201 out of the door free shipping fast and free shipping it's not TB parts fault that UPS decided to slack off on my shipping and um, hold me off on this because like I said it was supposed to be here Tuesday but I'm not going to ramble like I said I promise I'm not going to ramble I'm going to go ahead and open up that micro bar pad put that on the handlebars over there on the bike and then I'm going to get to disassembling the motor and getting this kit on I'm so excited I left work an hour early for this 
All right, I went ahead and opened up the new Michael Medals bar pad. They were nice enough to send me that. Appreciate it. Uh, this came on time. Didn't have to fight and struggle like I did for the big board kit. Um, I just got the pad by itself. I already had the pit bike low bars. Compliments our ODI grips. Compliments our nice new levers and our throttle cable, carburetor, dress up kit, top of the forks, frame, everything. You name it. This bike is going to look amazing when it's finished and it's going to ride even better. All right, I got the cylinder head off and dress up kit that's sitting over there. All the gasket and stuff are fine. Next is the cylinder. And like I said, I just went ahead and mocked this up. The piston is not in there, so everything should come off easy. I got the chain and all that stuff in there. We're going to go ahead and pull out the guide. And um, this bad boy should wiggle right on off. All right, so now we have our head and our cylinder off. We are ready to clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna clean up around there and stuff, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get this cylinder out and get this piston out, get the rings and stuff on that, and get her ready to go onto the bike. All right, now here's something that's really, really nice that I'm glad that they do. It is already oiled up and nice and lubed, real smooth in there. I am gonna add just a little bit more oil to this, but I'm not gonna waste my time going all the way to Summit, which is like five minutes down the road. But yeah, she's nice and coated in there. Uh, we'll add a little bit of oil and then put some oil around the piston and stuff too as well. But for now, she is mint. All right, so I've been talking a lot about the cylinder and the head, but there is our new 64 millimeter piston. She is beautiful. Comes with the clips, comes with the wrist pin, and comes with the rings. I'm gonna get these rings and stuff on here. I'm gonna give this thing a nice little coat of oil. Get all this stuff in there, get it on the connecting rod over there, and then we're going to work our way on getting the cylinder and stuff on, and I will get back to you guys once I do that. All right, it was a pain in the butt, but we have our rings on our piston. We're going to get them lined up the way they should be, but now we're going to focus on getting the cylinder on there. Well, we're going to get the piston and stuff on there now, and then we'll go ahead and work on the cylinder, then we'll go ahead and work on the head, and then we'll be done, folks. All right, so... I cleaned up the surface just a little bit. We got our new gasket on there. Got our chain pulled through. We also have our piston on. I went ahead and used the sir clips from the old piston because the ones that come with the new piston, these suckers right here are the hardest things in the world to get in, but they're the same exact size. These fit perfect. They're not going anywhere. So now we work on getting our cylinder over this piston. I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and coat that in a little bit more oil. Hopefully it goes on real smooth, and then we can get to bolting this thing up and getting the time. All right, guys, we run into an issue. This kit is supposed to require no boring of the cases, which means it's supposed to be a complete bolt-on. I have the piston inside the cylinder, but up top right here, this is hitting. So I don't know who said that you weren't supposed to bore the cases on this, even though it says on the TB Parts website. But it is not going in. And I could literally put the 60 millimeter almost completely inside the 60 millimeter, which leads me to believe. I mean, this is definitely a GPX 150. Same thing as the YX 150. So this kit is supposed to be working, but I'm not sure and I'm not going to be able to use it. It looks like I'm stuck with just a 150. And it sucks because I spent $500 on this motor, another $200 on this kit. And here we are. I'm gonna have to order a 160 down the road and go ahead and use this kit for it right here. But for now, I'm gonna try to figure something out, see what I can do without having to throw the 150 back on it. All right, guys. So I guess the only thing I can do now, since it's looking like it has to be bored, it's not going in there. It's not fitting in there at all. This casing and stuff is gonna have to be bored or I'm either have to gonna pull the, uh, pull the trigger on a 160. So. It's kind of depressing after waiting for so long for it, but good thing I kept the 60 millimeter piston and the 60 millimeter cylinder. Uh, I can go ahead and throw this back on here, get it tuned up and stuff, make sure it runs well, and make it out to my race next Saturday. So I'm gonna pull this off, box it up, get the motor put back together, and then I will talk to you guys here in a bit. All right, guys, I got the 150 cylinder, 150 piston back on. We just mounted up the V2 head. We got this bad boy timed in. The only thing to do now is to bolt down the tensioner, put all our bolts back on, make sure this thing is nice and tidy. Then I'm going to go ahead and work on rearranging the carb, getting it all wired up, throw our gas tank on. We really can't start it because we don't have the exhaust on. 
I'm going to go ahead and kick it over. And as soon as it starts, I'm going to hit the kill switch. Um, I just want to make sure everything is good to go and she's going to crank up before I get everything built back up. And then hopes and dreams once again. So I'm going to bolt this thing up. I'll show you guys what everything's going to look like in the long run. And then we'll talk after that. All right, guys. This is where I'm at with the bike. I got most of the stuff wired up. I have to extend the ground. I got the new coil on the other side. Uh, the carburetor is a little crooked. We're going to figure that out once we figure out which route we're going to go with the, the, the another engine. But for now, we're going to use this 150 because, like I said, nothing's wrong with it. It has real strong compression. I put it back together. I got the dress-up kit on there. I got the Nibby 28 carb. Uh, I went ahead and extended some of the wires all the way up to the kill switch. We got the brakes. I got to get bled. I got to get the rear master on. I got to get the um, rear line on. We have the caliper put on it already. Um, I got all the fuel line and stuff ran. Like I said, we got a new coil. I went ahead and put a new spark plug in there. The ground is just a little too short to fit up there. So I'm going to cut and solder some wire. Then I'm gonna wrap that sucker in electrical tape, mount the tank. And then all we're waiting on is my new seat cover, which is coming in because I'm not gonna use this uh, one over here was a little too big. My new plastics and my new graphics. So after that, she'll be ready for next Saturday. And uh, oh yeah, and also the exhaust, which should be here tomorrow. I mean, am I sad that I'm not gonna be able to run the 170 and get all that power? Yes, I am. But at least I know I have a nicely built bike. I put a lot of time and effort into this, a lot of heart. So I'm gonna run that 150 with pride. It should be plenty enough to compete. Um, I think the biggest thing we'll see out there is like 143s, maybe a 190. But you, you guys know it, just like everybody else, it's all on skill. Plus it'll give me a chance to get some seat time in on the bike, get a feel for everything. It's gonna look real good when it's done, I promise. Bike Graphics knocked it out of the park with these graphics that they designed for me to replicate this bike into a gas gas. It's gonna be amazing. Um, I talked to Orion today, they're 20 minutes away. He said the plastics were out of stock due to the snowstorm we had, but he said they should be in on Monday and if I don't wanna wait for shipping so I get them in time, he said I can shoot him an email or give him a call and come pick them up. So that is pretty awesome. So what I'm going to continue doing is buttoning up the rest of the bike, getting the brakes and stuff dialed in, um, getting the motor and stuff dialed in, waiting on the exhaust. Uh, I don't. I know the exhaust is going to fit flan side. I'm just not sure because it's a KLX exhaust and this is an Orion bike. Um, kind of a cradle frame style, so we'll see if it fits or not. I might have to get that cut and welded. Um, I'm going to be on the hunt for a 160 motor. I'm not buying another used one. I'm going to buy brand new and then throw the brand new kit on it. And then we'll have a 184. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Also, I am still caught in between what I'm going to do for the giveaway. I should know by next week what I'm going to be giving away. And hopefully sometime while we're at the track, I'll make the giveaway announcement. It might be while we're at the race. It might be before the race. I will know. I'm going to call Brokefoot, see what we can come up with. Um, I'm going to order something. It's going to be brand new. Like I said, it's going to be paid for, and this is going to be our 500 subs giveaway just to celebrate this channel. This channel is what keeps me motivated to build these bikes. Even without it, I would still do it, but it just, it brings it to a whole nother level because I get to share the build with you guys. I get you guys' input. I get all the answers to the questions that I don't know when I'm building, and that makes it a lot more worth it to me. So like I said, I appreciate you guys. I will see y'all in the next one. You guys will see the bike when it's all done and finished, and hopefully it'll be on the gate come March 27th at um, Village Creek MX in Rendon, Texas, Fort Worth. I mean, Village is kind of in Fort Worth, so we're just going to go with Village Creek in Fort Worth, Texas. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.